Hey Libras, I'm back y'all with another video. Yes guys, it definitely has been a while since I have done a video <laughs> for you guys, but I am back, okay? So let's talk here, let's get it popping, let's talk, let's see. What messages are coming towards you? What's coming towards my Libras? This is a love reading, it is general. So it may or may not resonate with you. If it happens to resonate with you, all the better. Go ahead and leave a thumbs up to energetically support the channel as well as comment below as well as share with your family and your friends, okay? So let's get it popping, okay? Let's see. I don't know, for some reason for Libras, <clears throat> I'm hearing, um, I can't remember the name of the song. But it's a song by Beyonce. I want to say it's a gift from Virgo or something like that. I don't I don't remember. But it's the part that keeps going in my head is, When it's time to leave, it's so hard to say goodbye. I never want to say goodbye. Never want to say goodbye one day. Somebody's having a hard time saying goodbye. Somebody doesn't want to let go. That's just what I'm feeling for Libras. Like somebody's having a hard time saying goodbye. Somebody doesn't want something to end. Give me an overall message for Libras for the month of August. You came closer than anyone. I hope that you can forgive me one day. So, yeah, somebody know that they messed up, they did something that is maybe unforgivable in your eyes. You're like, no, I can't even forgive you for that. But this person is feeling like you came the closest, you got the closest than anyone. I wish I could take back my words, yeah. This person is over here... Um, I know I was a distraction from your pain. Okay, this person is over here wishing that they can take some words back. So some things were said, and I feel like maybe you walked away or vice versa. Somebody here is very vain as well. Like they hide behind material things. But you definitely taught this person some type of lesson. It was my fault, but I blamed you. Yeah. This person is staying away, thinking about you. When they listen to certain songs, there's certain songs that remind them of you. But this is the thing. They know that they crossed the line with you. And this is what they're saying. They wish that they had treated you better. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. Yeah. I felt that. Like, somebody... I was having a hard time letting somebody go. I never want to say goodbye. Never want to say goodbye. Like, that just keeps ringing in my head. Okay. So, somebody's having a hard time. I feel like you could have walked away from this person. Or this person could have walked away from you. But however the story fits. Make it fit how it fits for you. And then look. <laughs> deception and reconciliation so this person knows that they somebody is being dishonest and now somebody wants to come back it's like nah bruh nah sis <laughs> you did what you did you said what you said and I stand on that how does this person feel about Libra Yeah, for sure, for sure. <clears throat> you freed yourself. Somebody freed themselves from this connection, for sure. Somebody is taking back control of their life. And it's, you know, somebody decided to look, let the situation go. Okay. I feel like finances and career could be involved. Like somebody could be traveling for work or somebody is on a break period from work, like maybe laid off or 
someone could be possibly looking for for work or somebody needs a break from work. Somebody here also is expressing a lot of like this person is expressing wants to got has a lot that they want to say. They definitely want to give this relationship a chance, but there are some red flags, okay? They feel like you could be the one. Somebody flirts too much, and I feel like that could be a problem. This person could be too friendly, flirty, flirts with everybody. This is something that you realized about this person. Uh, but maybe you still decided to give this relationship a chance or this is something that needs to be worked on in the connection for the connection to go to the next level like somebody's just too flirty they they flirt with too many people this person however is extremely attracted to you very much so sex sexually if they aren't attracted in anything else this person is definitely attracted to you sexually but there's a lot of deception going on okay this person may have other uh involved doing other parties yes yeah, so you got let your friends help you in deception like this person may flirt with flirt with <clears throat> with your friends or look say little things about your friends or they he, this person acts funny when they get around certain people like it's just something about it to you that's just like you're paying attention to this you feel like the chemistry is there but at the same time the situation still is unbalanced, okay? And this person did something that's unforgivable. I'm just getting like, this person took something too far. Yeah, healing family issues and let go of control issues, for sure. So, this person kind of wants you to, uh, they may feel like you're being um, controlling or trying to control them. But the fact of the matter is, stop being a flirt with everybody, just don't do that just don't do that don't take don't don't do that don't do what you wouldn't want me to do i'm getting that type of energy like this person is uh for for the community i'm getting or their behavior their traits Okay, give me a message for Libras. Give me a general message for Libras, please, in the love department. So, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, South Node, Jupiter, whatever. If you have Libra in your chart, you can utilize this video. Okay, so for the month of August, give me a read for August. What's coming towards my Libras in regards to love? Okay, give me a message for Libras, please. What does Libras need to know? <clears throat> Somebody here is a single and ready to mingle, for sure. We got the King of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. This person could be very handsome or beautiful, very well put together, very outspoken, very outgoing, um, admired, okay? And they may behave single. Um... You got the death card, could be a Scorpio, King, and the Queen of Wands. So both of y'all may act single. I'm getting that. Like both of you guys are on the same page um, when it comes to, or you guys are going to get on the same page. Yeah, whoever this is, somebody get, is getting a lot, a hell of a lot of attention. <clears throat> They're very well known. You're very well known. I don't know if I'm picking up on the celebrity energy or what, but both of you are kind of like neck and neck. Like both of y'all are hot commodities, um, <clears throat> popular. What is it that far here? I see you be, being very tired of stressing out about this person. Behavior, their traits, how they move, the actions that they're taking. 
I'm here. You're not about to keep disrespecting me. Why is the King of Wands here? Yeah, Four of Cups. You're disappointed in this person's actions. <clears throat> They've been acting like they're single. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Yeah, the lovers could be dealing with the Gemini. Yeah, this person loves to act single. Um, you feel like this person's going to end up regretting this in the long run. Yeah, this person could be like a baby father or a baby mother. We got the emperor here. Um, but very much so with the king of wands and the queen of wands and the emperor, I'm just getting a lot of confidence. Um, this person could be very much so well known and um, this person is a powerhouse. Like, this person has a lot of power. What's the emperor here? Yep, the empress. Yeah, both of you. I'm getting both of you. Both of you. This is both of you guys' energy. We got the emperor and the empress. Now, for some of you, this is a baby mother, baby father situation, a husband or a wife, or a power couple that could be going through a bit of a struggle with as far as, you know, um, control or um, I'm getting control, like trying to gain control. But I'm getting both of you are important people. Why is the queen of wands here? The devil. All right, I'm getting some, I'm getting some, you know. The devil and the queen of wands to me is very sex, sexy energy, very seductress, uh, seducer, womanizer um, type of energy. Somebody is definitely either a womanizer or somebody is very seductive. But I keep getting that both parties. Like y'all, like I keep getting like y'all are similar He's the male version and you're the female version. Like, y'all are neck and neck. Tell me why the devil is here. Like, y'all have the same qualities. Like, you're both very good looking. You're both very well known. Whatever it is that you do, you're very well known for it. Tell me why the devil is here. The Knight of Swords, yeah. Very impulsive energy. Young, I'm getting younger. Someone could be younger. Um, you could be younger than this person. Why is the Seven of Wands here? I feel like you decided to go ahead and start standing up for yourself, standing up and defending yourself. Um, this person has, they, I, I really do get somebody crossed the boundary. This person did something that was way out of pocket, like way, way, way out of pocket. Um, I feel like in the past you decided that you're going to start standing up for yourself. And that's just point blank period. Queen of Swords, you stepped into the Queen of Swords energy for future energy. You're not going to be taking no nonsense from this person. You made this decision in the past that I'm not, I'm not going to be walked all over. I'm not going to be disrespected. Some of you had to end the situation. Okay, some of y'all had to cut this person off or make some type of decision. Like, you know, it's respect over everything. This Queen of Swords energy, I feel like this is you stepping into this energy, a no-nonsense energy. This is you guys' energy anyway, but I feel like you are wholeheartedly stepping into it. The high priestess, yeah. You're being, you're following your intuition. You're looking, you're going within, okay? You're doing some soul searching, but your intuition could have been telling you to go ahead and move on from this situation, leave this situation and leave the situation in the past, okay? So yeah, something here about a bad choice, okay? You don't want to make, keep making the same mistakes, and I'm hearing it. Like, you don't want to keep making the same mistakes, following the same patterns. You're going to be more uh, in tune with your intuition. Like, if something tells you the first time, if you have a feeling the first time around, I feel like you're going to take more heat to that and um, address situations as they come, like, just in a more, in a more logical sense.
This person is going to reach out to you. If you're waiting to hear from this person, this person is going to reach out to you. This person is surprised that you actually had the confidence to walk away. Strength and the Eight of Cups. You knew this person was going to come begging you back. This person is just surprised that you had the confidence to walk away from this situation. Yeah. Um, you could be looking for some type of attention from this person with the Hermit and the Six of Wands. So some of you, it looks like someone, it looks like somebody here walked away from a situation like a home life. Could have been a marriage or um, a live-in arrangement. Something that was built together. I'm seeing somebody built something together with the Eight of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. And somebody decided to walk away from it. This could have been you because you were trying to get this person's attention. Like, look, I will leave all this shit behind. I'm, I'm just as popping as you. I don't need that. I'll leave all this. I'll... <laughs> What you thought this was, yeah. See, there could have been a breakup, a split, or finding out that there's a third party involved. Why is the three of swords here? The sun, something came to the light. Could be a Leo involved, but I'm getting lots of competition, or argument, and then there was the ending. Because somebody was feeling like something wasn't worth it anymore. It's not worth putting in that fight anymore, okay? Now, this person over here, they over here waiting. Why are the three of ones here? Yeah, this person was waiting to see if you was going to leave for real. Like, if you was really going to see it, really going to leave. And if you was going to leave to find somebody new. So, this is their, where their mind is. They was, like, wondering where you at, what you got going on, what's on your mind, what you thinking. Is there somebody new? Now, we got the Page of Cups here in the Hopes and Fears section. Oh, uh, yeah, you do want to hear from this person. I feel like you uh, want to hear from this person, but I do feel like your focus is on forward movement and progressing in your finances. It looks like, yeah, the flirting and all of that. Okay, you want to call me and talk to me. And it's like, okay, what else? Are we talking about getting money? Are we talking about, you know, is, is it something that's going to be beneficial to me? Because that's all I want to talk about. Now, we got the Page of Pentacles here as your outcome and the Seven of Cups. Somebody definitely has, um, could possibly have some options. This could be you with the Seven of Cups. We got the Strength card. Somebody could be definitely dealing with Leo. Leo's energy is all over this week. Now, we have uh, somebody deciding possibly to be bold enough to find another connection. This could be you. Yeah. Somebody is really, it looks like you're happy. It looks like you end up happy because you finally had the confidence to make some type of decision here. You stood on a decision and this is where it leads to. Two of cups, ten of cups, okay? And a six of swords. It's like you moved on to something better. And it's like, yeah, I tried to tell you. <laughs> I tried to tell you, but you didn't think that I was going to really do it. It don't even have to be a relationship. Look at this. Somebody could be headed towards a divorce, okay? This Libra, uh, this justice card is Libra's energy. Um, yeah, I see. Somebody thinks this This person, you, you like, this person thinks that I'm slow. They think I'm slow. But they better check my resume. <laughs> Better check my resume. Some of y'all are dealing with the Taurus or a King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This person is very powerful. I do get that. Um, this person is very well known. Now, we got the Tower and the Ten of Pentacles. So, a foundation has definitely been broken down, okay? So, something that has been built up could, could run the possibility of being broken down, possibly having a tower moment of some sort, going through some type of transformation. But a tower doesn't always mean like broken down and then it's just broken down and burnt down to the ground and then there's no happily ever after after that. Um, some things need to be, some foundations need to be shaken, okay? Some foundations need to be shaken. It brings in some type of transformation. But I feel like you're like, you know what, we're not getting, we're not getting back together this time. I'm not sure if I want to come back together with you. I'm not sure if I want to collaborate with you. I'm not sure if I want to put us back together. Um, because it's something, This I feel like 
you feel like this person betrayed you in some way, shape, or form. You had a wake up call, and you feel like, look, that chapter needs to be closed. I need to close this chapter. This chapter needs to be closed. So this is actually a good read. I'm getting like some of y'all are like having an awakening of some sort, um, realizing the situation that's no longer serving you. Let's get some advice. I see y'all standing up for yourselves, and I love it. Somebody decided to put their foot down, and it's going to bring in new beginnings for you. Could be a new connection. Could be a new business partner. Could be um, just total bliss and happiness. Okay, being fulfilled. Give me some advice for Libra. We got abundance. Yeah, see, you guys got a lot of abundance coming in towards you. For sure, for sure. You got a lot of abundance coming your way. If you have some type of new idea or um, could be getting a pay raise at work, finding a job and it pays very well, abundance is coming. And we got it's up to you. It's up to you, all right? Peaceful resolution. See, uh, peaceful resolution looks like it could be found in this situation, but it's definitely going to be up to you. Like, you hold the ball. The ball is in your court. The situation will improve. Yeah. I feel within the next few months, the situation will improve. Yeah, we got recovery here as well. So, if you focus on your abundance right now, I feel like, you know... Your abundance is going to improve. Now, when it comes to being the situation being up to you and the ball is in your court, spirit is saying something isn't the right time. Yeah, you need to get more information. There's something that you don't know all the details about. All right, so we got peaceful resolution. Let go. The, the, the peaceful resolution is for you to let go. Okay, in order for this to be the go out peacefully, it's something that you need to let go of. Okay. It's something that you need to let go of. You got big happy changes coming in for you as well. Give me one more card. Remain positive. Spirit wants you to stay positive, okay? You got so much coming in store. Like, there's so much in store for you coming ahead. Like, this situation may not be the right time. And I feel like the ball is in your court. You get to choose whether or not, you know, I feel like you have the control over whether or not where this goes. But Spirit is saying right now it may not be the right time. Your finances is looking like it's going to improve. Okay, but the situation in regards to love, if this is your story, right now may not be the right time for you, you guys to make up and kiss and just act like nothing ever happened. It's a lot of things that uh, you need more information about first before you jump back into this. Spirit definitely wants you to remain positive, And there is a peaceful resolution. And it could be to possibly let this go. Okay, let it go. All right, so this is the message that I got for you, Libra. If this message resonated with you, be sure to hit the thumbs up, comment, share with your family and friends as well. If you're interested in booking a personal read, all that information is in the drop box below. You can contact me via email and we can get you set up, honey. All right, until next time, a child for now.